y'all, it's Jamie with The Blonde Side. We are now in episode three. So I'm gonna answer a couple of your questions. The first one comes from, gosh, I can't pronounce your name, Lionel, Lionel. Anyways, you know who you are. He wants to know, will you do another push-up challenge against me at the next Astros opening day? The answer is most definitely yes. I've been working on these guns since I saw you last opening day. Um, I do know that I beat you then and I will beat you again. I don't even know if the Astros won that game or not, but that's besides the point. Nate wants to know, what is the weirdest sport you've ever seen or heard of? Nate, if you've ever done some research, there's a sport for everything. There's probably a sport for painting your toenails, everything else, but kind of the weirdest, coolest, you would probably like this, is lingerie football league. Those women are able to run and tackle and dive and score touchdowns and look like badasses in really dainty, rhinestone type apparel. Um, it's kind of amazing to me. I don't know how all that stuff stays in there because I can't even lay in bed on a Tuesday night without everything falling out. So more power to them. If you haven't seen it, you should probably check it out. You can thank me later. Uh, Anna Alicia wants to know, can we get more cute tops? The answer is yes. If you look at all the tops that we've created in the past, this one's probably the most popular football, best F word ever. Um, I love creating shirts that specifically I want to wear and then hopefully sell them. So if you have any ideas for whether it's a local team, college team, whatever, uh, send me an email, jamie at theblondeside.com. And if we choose your idea to make a shirt, yours is free. That means it won't cost you any money. So send me your ideas. Love to make them. Uh, football season's on the way, so everyone's ready for that. And the last question is from Alyssa. What's the best interview you have had and why? That's a super easy answer, and I get asked that all the time. It is Joseph Adai, without a doubt. Uh, former running back for LSU and then for the Colts for seven years. I met him, surprisingly enough, on a Southwest airplane from Houston to L.A., I kind of alluded during the three-hour flight that I knew who he was and, and where he played football, and I think that kind of shocked him. You know, Blondes know nothing about football, right? But I talked him into doing an interview when we got back to Houston, and he was probably the first interview where I was able to sit down and talk to someone that didn't have the NFL in one ear and his PR team in one ear and an agent in another ear that doesn't exist, but you get my drift. And he was completely real, authentic, genuine. He said some hilarious stuff. Um, he doesn't really get along with Bill Belichick. I don't know if you know that, but he was completely real about it. And that's rare in this world. Most athletes are so structured to what they are allowed to say, especially to media. So he was a great interview, told it like it is. And, uh, you know, he's still a really good guy from Houston. The last thing Alyssa wants to know is what is the number one advice you have to offer for a young female writer? And that again is very simple blog. Um, when I started my blog, believe it or not, I had a blog before this blog. I had a blog before a blog, but no one read it, and it was hilarious. And not only did that give me an outlet to regularly write things, it also gave me a link that when I did want to, to send an email to ESPN or something and say, hey, I want to write for you, I had proof. It was already on the internet. I had it ready to go. Um, your readership will build. It will probably build very slowly, but it gives you an outlet. Um, it's free. Um, so that's my advice for you. Uh, you don't need to attend these games or get on media lists to be able to write about sports. Whatever it is you want to write about, if you want to write about fashion, you don't need to buy a $5,000 bag. You just go online and look at it and tell people if you like it or not. So it's super simple. Um, but I have to tell you this, you're not going to make a lot of money. Everyone warned me about that when I started writing. I said, eh, whatever. So, you know, I'm still doing it. It's fun. But that's my advice. So as always, thank y'all for the questions and I hope to see you for episode four. Thanks for watching.